Hey there, Crystal and Justin with OurSleepGuide.com. Today we're coming at you with the Nectar Review. So let's get started. So first off, you know with the Nectar, this is gonna be shipped to your house. It comes rolled up. It's a little bit different where it doesn't come up, come rolled up in a box. It actually comes rolled up in a bag. And if you go and watch our unboxing video, you can see that that is a fairly simple process. The Nectar is about 11 inches thick and it weighs around 70 pounds. So for an all foam mattress, it really doesn't weigh that much. So that can be a negative. The positive on that is it, it's easy to do. I mean, you can easily do it by yourself. If you live in a third story apartment, um, you can easily walk it upstairs if you don't have an elevator. So that can make things a little bit easier on you. Yeah, and when we did unbox this, uh, one thing to note with the Nectar is it is gonna be shipped from overseas. So it's gonna be yeah. compressed and rolled up in that bag, not only a little longer, but it's also gonna hold a little bit more smell too. So when you initially take it out, uh, it is gonna be fairly flat. So you do wanna give this one a good, I would say 24 hours to 48 hours before you really even determine how firm it's gonna be, uh, as well as yeah. hours before sleeping on it. Yeah, so it's gonna take a while before, to, before it actually expands all the way out and before you're gonna get that true feel. The other thing is, is some of the off-gassing that's inside of it. With two small kids now, that is always a concern for us. And you know, coming from China, we did notice that you are gonna get some off-gassing from this mattress. Um, so just keep it in a room where you can have the windows open, air the thing out for a little bit. Um, but for somebody who's a little bit more susceptible to some of those smells, you, you may wanna keep that in mind. Jumping into the comfort of this mattress, it is gonna be offered in one universal feel. So it's gonna be a fairly firm, medium firm, I would say. Uh, there's not a lot of give to it. The top few la like top layer feels a little plush, but underneath that, it is a little firmer. Uh, it's also very slow responding, but also at the same time, once you kind of get into it, you do feel a little bit stuck. So if you are somebody who likes to change positions, uh, you probably won't be able to roll quite as quickly and have it catch up with you as fast as several other brands. Uh, and personally, sleeping on my side, I did notice that you know, it contoured to me, but when I flipped to my other side, it did take a while for the mattress to kind of shift and change. And sleeping on my stomach, I actually felt like it didn't really give me the proper support because the top layer does sink in and conform to you so well. So my back did feel like it was bowing a little bit on this mattress. Uh, as far as back sleeping goes, how did it go for you? Yeah, back sleeping wise, so even though Crystal said that this is going to have some firmness to it, me being a little bit heavier, I did notice that my hips do sink down a little bit deeper into this bed. It does create some lumbar support, but my biggest thing is I don't want to have too much of a drop off. And with that memory foam that's on the top, I do feel like I am sinking in maybe just a little bit too much for my liking. Um, the other thing is, is if you do transition from your back to your side, what ends up happening is, is you do have a little bit of, a, bit of a ditch that is created and that can make you feel like you're kind of rolling in or out a little bit. Um, you know, other than that, as far as pressure relief goes, you're gonna get fairly decent pressure relief on your shoulder once you get over to that point. It does have some density within that base foam um, that will push back. So if you're a lighter person, you might feel like this is gonna be a little bit too firm. If you're somebody who's over 200 pounds, you know, that should provide the, the proper density for you. Oh, and it does come with pillows. Yes, right now it does come with two free pillows. So, <laughs> so these two free pillows uh, came with it. These are actually nice pillows. I prefer to be on more of a, a thin pillow. I like a low profile pillow. This is gonna be more of a medium to a thick pillow, but it does have good density. Um, these are actually some of the nicer pillows that come free with some of these different mattresses that we've seen. So that is gonna be a plus for something like this. Okay, so let's talk about some of the materials inside of the Nectar. The top cover of the Nectar is gonna have a tensile cooling cover. Uh, this promotes a little bit better air circulation. It's gonna wick away some of the heat and that's going to be probably the, the best part for cooling of this mattress. The second layer is going to be a quilted gel memory foam. 
Uh, that's going to provide some of your more true memory foam feel. It is going to be a little bit more conforming and to me that is going to retain some of the extra heat that goes into this mattress. Uh, the third layer is going to be a gel memory foam layer and that's going to deliver you know, optimal weight distribution. It's also going to provide some better pressure relief in this mattress which is going to be an advantage. And the fourth layer is going to be an adaptive high core memory foam. So that's going to be just underneath the transitional foam and that's going to kind of provide a little bit of extra pressure relief and it's just going to add an extra layer into this bed. And then on the bottom that's going to be your breathable base foam and that's going to have just some added density so you don't feel like you're going all the way through the mattress into the box spring or into the platform base. So those are going to be the layers of the Nectar mattress. And then as far as mat, uh, motion transfer goes, you know, this is going to be an all foam bed with memory foam in the top of it. Uh, so motion transfer is pretty much, you know, very limited on this mattress. You, you Once you bounce on it, it's because of the density of those foams kind of sitting on top and just how quickly you kind of go into it you're not going to really get a ton of motion transfer. No, this does good on motion transfer. You know, with that top, I think two inches of memory foam that's over the top of this bed, uh, it's going to absorb a lot of that movement. So um, for what it lacks, I guess, in overall comfort, it is going to make up a little bit for in motion transfer. So if you're somebody who has a partner who tosses and turns a lot at night, that's going to be an important uh, benefit of this bed. Drawback, I will say, with this mattress, even that I noticed, is sleeping cooler. Because you do kind of sink in a little bit more on the top, and there's more memory foam in this mattress, it does actually kind of create a little bit of a kind of a cocooning of warmth around you. So if you sleep warm, you probably aren't going to find this mattress to be as comfortable as some other options out there. Uh, you know, it's they try to offset some of that with certain additives, but I still think like overall it's not going to stay. Yeah, with this top cover, they try to offset it a little bit. Obviously, you could get a mattress protector that's going to have some cooling properties in it, but overall you are going to have some of that true memory foam feel where that's going to absorb more of the heat and you do sink in fairly deep. I mean, you can see Crystal right now when she's sinking down into this, if she moves, um, you know, you can see that there's uh, kind of a, a bit of a ditch that forms and what that does it's going to excuse me cocoon your body more and it's going to radiate more of that heat so if you are a warm sleeper this might not be the best choice for you and then as far as edge support goes uh, you know we always look at the perimeter of the mattress to see how sturdy it is uh, for sleeping as well as sitting, uh, you know, you mostly use your bed for sleeping, so it's always important to make sure you can fully use your mattress from edge to edge. And with this mattress, um, there is a little bit of a lack of support once you get right up to the edge, especially after a few seconds of adjusting into that memory foam. It kind of does start to just kind of slope off a little bit at the end. Uh, and as you can see with Justin sitting on it, uh, it's going to have you know, kind of a pancake effect once you do sit on it as well. Yeah, I would say for edge support, it performs probably about average. For sleeping surface, that might be just a little bit below average if you get right up to the edge. Obviously, not too many people are going to be sleeping right on the edge of the bed, but since it is going to have more of a dipping feel with that memory foam, you might feel like you roll out a little bit. So it is a good idea to always sit maybe three to four inches to the inside of that edge and then you're going to feel like you're on a more of a flat level surface. So to wrap up the review of the Nectar mattress, uh, I would certainly recommend going back over to OurSleepGuide.com and really reading the full review. That's going to give you even more details of this mattress and how it worked out for us. Uh, as well as some of the details on pricing as well as customer service and you know this does come with a 365 night trial period. So Which that's going to be one of the best things yes, about it. Exactly. I mean the fact that you can try this thing out for a year and you can get a full refund at the end of that year if you don't feel like this mattress is comfortable, that's going to be a big thing. Probably one of the biggest negatives is going to be maybe some of the heat retention, um, some of the, the firmness to this bed. And then the fact that it does come from China and you will get more off-gassing from that. Um, so that can be an issue as well. Yeah. So 
Uh, other than that, um, make sure you check out the comparisons with this mattress as well because we do have it highlighted up against some of the other more popular brands. So if you are kind of torn between which one to go with, those are some great options for giving you more information. Also, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to our channel to make sure you see all of our latest reviews. And if you ever have any questions, make sure you contact us.